Hey everybody, Paul Angelo here. Another field trip, another amazing topic. Today's topic is going to be the power of love. And please don't laugh. I know this may be something cliche, something kind of strange to hear, but let's not laugh. Let me share with you something that will blow your mind. I've always been a logical person. INTJ uh, is my Myers-Briggs personality type. And if someone told me, Paul, you're going to lead with the heart. You're going to be uh, emotionally activated to such a degree that you're going to feel love pouring out of you. If someone had told me that five years ago, I would have started laughing. But today, this is my reality. For the first time in my life, I lead with the heart. I'm learning how to lead with the heart. Something that has taken many years to do. And this is why I want to talk about this, the power of love. What does that mean? Or what will it be like for you when your heart opens up? Even though you are a very kind of type A man, type A kind of man who never in your imagination would have ever considered the possibility of leading with your heart, having a heart open. And I actually believe that especially the men that are type A, you have to open your heart. Especially if you're the cutting edge business person that always thinks about solutions, always opens up these very difficult to open up boxes and knows how to put things together. That especially for you, opening up your heart is gonna change your life and, and you're gonna be the person who will change the world. Because what we need right now in the world is men with open hearts, men who have the training, men who have the, the know-how about business, about um, how to solve problems, how to create solutions. We need those men to now put that knowledge into the social space. There's so much suffering out there. There's so many difficulties people experience. We need to start leading with the heart. Now, on a personal level, you might ask, what's in it for me? So I want to talk about this right now. What's in it for you to be able to lead with the heart? Well, first of all, it's like entering a different dimension. It's like a parallel universe where previously your mind operated differently. Your experience of reality was different. You looked at other people differently. And you also looked at yourself differently. When a man that's very logical, who is very type A, or who is logical, not necessarily type A, just a man who is mostly rational. Scientist is an example, or a manager. Once he opens his heart, by opening it up to another person, you can't help it, but you open it up to yourself. That's how it works. When you open your heart to another, it's not just that you open it up to another, you open it up to yourself magical changes happen in your own consciousness. You start noticing things about other people you couldn't notice before. Your relationships all across the board are better with your parents, with your siblings, with your friends, with your coworkers. Why? Because your heart is the guiding force. Prior to that, you used to evaluate people based on did they accomplish A, B, and C or not? And if not, you kind of put an X over them. Did they say what they were going to say? And if, or did they do what they were going to do? Or did they keep their word? Or did they show commitment at a time when they said they were going to show commitment? That's how you used to evaluate people. Once you open your heart, you don't look at people that way anymore. You recognize that what they do is mainly guided by something inside them that you can only see when your heart is open mainly struggle, suffering, their contradictions of their psychology that are seeking an outlet to be expressed, to be seen. And now for the first time ever, you learn about the patterns, the real patterns of human nature. And this is when you enter, I believe, the real world of relationships, the real world of relationships. And this is, in essence, what it takes to become a husband material, a husband material. So people want relationships that last forever. Well, how can you ensure that a relationship lasts forever when you have a heart 
that's guiding the entire process. Because when you are guided by logic and reason, you can see the invisible, irrational patterns of human nature that show up for everybody, even those people that are logical. That's right. And I can attest to that because I used to always be so logical and the logic was used to come up with excuses, to rationalize the bad things I was doing, to justify the decisions that were irrational. So at the end of the day, all of us are irrational. But with an open heart, that irrationality no longer stands in the way. And this is the million dollar advice that I want to give you right now. Because this is what's going to transform your relationships forever. And this is frankly why Frank and I are still together. Because if I judged him based on reason and based on logic, he would not be in my life because we would have fights over why didn't you do, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why are you so crazy? Why are you so out of control? Why are you so about drama, drama this, drama that? Now I just stand and watch. I just stand and watch and give him his space, let him come to his own conclusions, let him solve his own dramas. Now I'm there to help him and that's important to say as husband materials we have to be there to help the person that has a struggle. And so at the end of the day what we're talking about here is a massive transformation. Uh, this is not a small transformation. When you open your heart you open your heart to others, you see things you couldn't see, you open your heart to yourself, you guide guided by different principles, and when you suffer, so now we turn, turn this around, coming back to you, when you suffer, you're able to bring the compassion to you. Compassion, acceptance, these soft kind of spiritual principles that Buddhism talks about, that uh, non-duality talks about, that a lot of the Eastern tradition talk about, those things are available to you when your heart is open. They're very rarely available when your heart is closed. So this is the power of love, my friends. It's not a small thing. It's a huge thing that will change your life for the better. I'm inviting you to open your heart today. So I'm going to continue on my beautiful walk. I'm wishing you all the best. For more videos like these, please visit my website at paulangelo.com. And until we talk in the next video, as always, my friends, go out there, think big, stay present, and be a leader in your life today. And take a look at this beautiful, beautiful park. This is going to calm you down, bring you wholeness. And maybe tonight you'll go for a walk too and feel the nature wrapping around you. All right, my friends, talk to you soon.